Hello and welcome to the Slingshot channel. Today some more adder modding. As you know the adder is my favorite crossbow and it's super successful. We have sold so many thousands and thousands of versions. I love it because I can take one out of the box and then shoot 100 arrows with it within 15 minutes without a single glitch. But you can really modify this and I've done a few modifications to this one that are really interesting. The first one I hope will soon be available in the store because what it is it's a folding stock. So you can fold the stock over, you can still shoot it just as normal, but if you want to get it ready for firing, you can do it any time. So I love that little feature. <laughs> the second one is this really solid bipod. Um, you can actually fold it over, you can also retract it, so that it really doesn't add much space to the crossbow. But if you want it, if you want to shoot it from a table, from a bench, you simply do this and this and you're in business. And it hooks onto the original uh, side rails. So this one, I put the link to Amazon uh, down there for you. This one actually fits exactly into the mounting holes for the uh, Picatinny rails, the sideways ones. And it's a lot more solid than attaching it to this here because this actually is the cocking lever and it's a little bit, uh, well, not 100% solid. <laughs> well, this is super solid. Next modification series is the magazine. This is the original plastic five shot one. As you see it, you have to load it single, you know, arrow by arrow and it holds five arrows. Uh, this one actually is now attached to an R9 that I converted. If you want to know how to make, put a magazine on an R9, which is normally a single shot crossbow, there's another video that I put the link down there for you. In any case, um, this magazine is very basic, five rounds. Uh, you can't use a speed loader or something for it. So uh, eventually I got my next iteration done. Actually, most of the adders we sold have been sold with the seven shot magazine. It's actually a little over hundred euros more expensive with the magazine than without. And this one has the advantage that you can actually put the whole lever up. So you can put a quick loader in here and load seven arrows at a time. It also holds seven arrows, not just uh, five. So definitely is better than the original one. It's also made from uh, aluminum, uh, uh, powder coated. So it's actually higher quality than the original one. But of course, it's also more expensive. Now seven shots is better than five, but it wasn't good enough for me. So I found that I could probably increase the height of the side walls a little bit, so I can put a few more arrows in without blocking the line of sight for the red dot that attaches to the Picatinny rail here. I did this a while ago and uh, actually um, it works. It now holds 10 rounds, which is a lot better than seven, but not good enough for me. There must be a possibility to increase the mag capacity even more. Now I've been thinking about this and actually a few people suggested it to me actually. Dozens and dozens of people suggested it to me, but I didn't really think that it was possible to convert this into a double row uh, magazine. Now double row, like double stack magazines are very common. Most modern handguns have one. This means, you know, you, the magazines get a little wider, but then they like zigzag up and then you can squeeze a lot more rounds into a given magazine. In theory, that must work with this one too. So I started to, uh, to go for a little project. And you know, little projects is all I can do right now because I cannot really walk well because my right foot is in a boot, because my Achilles tendon is uh, very raw and there's a danger that it may snap. So the doctor has put me into one of these uh, ski shoes. <laughs> so this is my boot to uh, get my tendon healed. And this is my homemade boot with some wood underneath that makes me uh, walking halfway upright. I feel a little bit like a drag queen. <laughs> the Adder Double Stack Magazine Conversion. Let me show you its features. <laughs> so, and this is it. As you can see, the bolts are nicely stacked. It is also higher. It now holds an unbelievable 18 arrows. That's a whole lot of arrows for just one crossbow. And I think you can actually squeeze in number 19 when you put it in when you, the weapon is uh, cocked. I think this is the most firepower ever seen in a repeating crossbow. <laughs> and it shoots just as normal. So you can just cock it like you always do, like so. And then I can shoot. Bang! And then go for the next shot. Bang! And the next shot. And on and on and on and on. 
<laughs> Isn't it amazing? I love it. The modification was fairly simple. I simply removed these side plates here, which are just plastic, and they are attached with two screws. And then I attached higher ones that are also thinner. So I went from 10 millimeters, like in this version here, to a 14 millimeter slot that gave me enough room for this and also had to change the rear part accordingly. That wasn't very hard. But then I also had to change this part here because the veins would now go left and right and would actually uh, then uh, touch the walls here of the magazine. So I had to make room for this. And you see I simply did that by cutting up an uh, older piece from one of the prototypes and then making room for it like this. So I kind of uh, sawed them apart, creating a gap, and then I bridged the gap with another piece. And now, as you see, there is enough room for the veins on both sides. Very nice. And of course, I could do the same for the broad heads in the front. Okay, let's now fire all 18 bolts uh, and uh, see how fast I can do it. Those will be aim shots, though, not just spray and pray, if you know what I mean. <laughs> all right, let's go for it. Last shot. And empty. And of course you cannot cock it on an empty magazine because of the anti-dry fire. 18 shots. Wow, that actually saves you from going to the gym. <laughs> Just to give you an idea, this is how 18 volts look like. That's a whole lot of volts. <laughs> now some questions and answers. First, is it hard to load? Well, in theory you could even put a quick loader on this one, although I have to say that's probably a little much <laughs> since that would be one bulky speed loader. Otherwise, no, it's not hard. You simply drop the arrows in and they will kind of automatically fall in place. Like so. It's a little easier if you don't have to do it in front of the camera because I'm actually holding it a little high here. You get the point. Oops. <laughs> Hard to actually pick something up from the floor when you're on five inches of a drag queen boot. And as you see, the 14 millimeters actually mean that there is almost no uh, play because these shafts on both sides actually kind of almost touch each, each other. So 14 millimeters distance is about just right for this. Okay, will this ever be a commercial product? Um, Maybe so, but there's a whole lot of additional work required for putting this into a commercial version because we must make sure that it's feeding absolutely reliable time and time and time again. So I'm not ruling this out, but it, it might be. Uh, actually, progress can't be stopped, right? Now, what if you don't like this higher magazine? Well, if you just keep the original height, then I think you can squeeze in about 11, maybe 12 arrows in the place where there's normally room for seven. So that is an improvement already. Does it have disadvantages? Not that I can think of. Actually, they stack nicely. Maybe, maybe just a little longer loading time because of the stacked arrows. That could be an issue. Uh, can we increase the magazine size even more? Yes, we can. Then it would be even higher. And then also we have to elevate the Picatinny rail for the red dot side or for a telescopic side, because otherwise you could no longer aim since it would be blocking your line of sight. Uh, but that really doesn't matter much. What about accuracy? Well, uh, in theory, there could be an impact on the accuracy because the pressure on the, the lowest arrow that is in the groove is always a little bit sideways. But I didn't really see any differences. Don't forget that this is not a sniper gun. This is like a medium to short distance a tactical crossbow. And I don't think that it really matters uh, if accuracy on long distances would suffer a bit, which might be the case. So far, I just didn't notice it. Is there a tutorial for it? No, for this one there's no tutorial. I don't enjoy filming myself in the workshop. It actually forces me to pull in my gut all the time and I don't like that. Plus also I like to listen to music in the workshop and if I record it then YouTube would definitely demonetize my video straight away.
So, I hope you liked my little double stack magazine conversion, because that's it for today. <laughs> Thanks and bye bye. <laughs> okay, as always, one for you. And one last one. Okay, okay. Ha 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 ha.